Several days ago, a new event was released for the first time in the game. I've been meaning to get this video out, but a number of projects have slowed down my progress. Still, there are nearly two weeks of the event remaining, so all is not lost. The tale of Princess Kaguya will appear at the top of the event list. Kudos to the digital artist that produced the look of this event. It's quite a striking event page, so whoever you are out there in Evanyland, you did a great job on this. Princess Kaguya herself is very pretty, but she has nothing on the raw beauty of Empress Dowager Sixie. The first part of the event is called the Arrival of Princess Kaguya. It's a loot box gambling style event, and I do hate anything that promotes gambling impulses, as it's an extremely predatory practice. Even if only a few people in a thousand are affected by the gambling nature of these kinds of events, the level of damage that can be done to them and their families is extreme. Gambling addictions are real, and I fear for those with addictions that have to face these mechanics thrust into their face. Stepping back from all that, I do appreciate that there are a few steps forward made by Evany in this event. It's almost like they've been watching this channel and others and have listened to some of the feedback. If you click the information button at the top left, you will see that the developers have made the very wise decision to include the exact percentages of probability that you will win each item with a spin. That is one of the major issues I talked about in my video a month ago when I questioned the legality of some packs and events in countries with strict gambling laws. Thank you, Evany, for providing some transparency in this event. That's something, and I hope we see more of this kind of change in the future. For the arrival of Princess Kaguya, you can obtain an item called Moon Bamboo through monsters, bosses, and resource spots. The amount you can obtain will be limited, of course. You can also get Moon Bamboo from packages. Each Moon Bamboo allows you to spin, although you don't actually spin anything. Instead, it's a bit more like you open a decorative loot box and obtain one of the possible rewards. You can view the possible rewards by clicking the black loot box to the right, and you can view the General Princess Kaguya by clicking the magnifying glass at the bottom. If you are unlucky enough to have spun 280 times and have not received her, you'll be given her for free. The second part of the event is very similar to the cards events we've seen a thousand times in the past. It just looks a whole lot better. Again, I'm actually grateful that there are a few positive changes in this event, even if most of it is just aesthetics. Like the cards event, you'll collect items from resource tiles, monsters, and bosses. You can combine these items in a variety of ways, and each combination will produce a unique reward box containing items. I'll go through the different combinations and their rewards here, so you can make a decision on how you want to combine your items. Each box has a chance to obtain the Golden Sparrow Avatar Frame. Box 1 requires a jeweled branch, fire rat's robe, and a bowl of Buddha. Box 2 requires a jeweled branch, fire rat's robe, and a dragon's pearl. Box 3 requires a jeweled branch, fire rat's robe, and a swallow's shell. Box 4 requires a jeweled branch, dragon's pearl, and a bowl of Buddha. Box 5 requires a jeweled branch, swallow's shell, and a bowl of Buddha. Box 6 requires a fire rat's robe, swallow's shell, and a bowl of Buddha. Box 7 requires a fire rat's robe, dragon's pearl, and a bowl of Buddha. Box 8 requires a jeweled branch, dragon's pearl, and a swallow's shell. Box 9 requires a fire rat's robe, dragon's pearl, and a swallow's shell. Box 10 requires a swallow's shell, dragon's pearl, and a bowl of Buddha. It's a bit irritating that none of these boxes give any stamina, which is one of the only useful things you get out of the cards event. The Kaguya version looks a whole lot nicer, but the rewards really stink. It's like they covered poop in flowers. No matter how you dress it up, it's still just poop. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos on the Miser's Guide to Ebony. I'll see you in the next video.